Well, first of all, before we get into the weekend ahead, of course, which is a busy one, can we start the preview by just having an update for the fans? Actually, they were asking, "Where's Lewis Millington? Is there any particular reason why he hasn't got in the team, or, or is there anything injury-wise? What, what's the state of play with him?" No, we've had a big bust up. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we uh, look. We we spoke on Monday night after the um, after the Cheshire Senior Cup game. Um, I'd had a text message through from a, from a mate who's a crew fan and just giving me the heads up and he's had one through and we just had a giggle about it in the dressing room. Look, Billow's doing brilliantly. He's doing absolutely fine. I think he's started 15 games in the league. Um, way ahead of, of, you know, we've had a conversation way ahead of um, where we thought he might be at this stage of the season. Um, you just got to be mindful sometimes with the younger players, the physical side of it. You know, he turned out some starts on the bounce, didn't he? And the physical side of it, um, can catch up with you um, and we're just mindful of when players have done that in the last 18 months the injuries that they've then gone on to have um, but Billo is fully in the mix he's doing really well in training um, and there's no issue whatsoever in the end it comes down to my decision and uh, what we feel is best for him as well in the long term Well let's move on then that's cleared that one up and now you're getting ready of course and focusing on a, a two game sort of uh, period over the Easter programme very close together does that affect your preparation? Absolutely not, no. We'll focus on this game um, as if it's just a one-week game. Um, what, the, what the usual is, is, is then the physical comes into it, the physicality in terms of, of your legs. Um, but as a player myself, you wanted to play in both of these games, so I, I don't see that being an issue. Yes, teams throughout the country, and Forest Green ourselves, might look to freshen things up come come Monday um, after the games on Friday. Um, but the games you look forward to, like I said, we, we want the games. Um, we prefer the games rather than training. Um, so we just prepare as normal, treat this game as if it's on its own, and then afterwards we'll assess the bodies and the performance and we'll move then swiftly on the bus on the way home to the Monday game. What have you been looking at in training this week? The one thing that you've probably been disappointed in the last few couple of games, in fact, is where you've conceded early goals. Yeah, you don't over-focus on that. I think it's showing the players and just an understanding of the start of the game, what it might look like. Um, so it's just it's dropping their messages in. Um, I think our build in the general games that have gone has been excellent. Um, we just got to get some more goal mouth action, um, so getting more extra bodies into the box, um, and having that little bit of quality when we get up there to to pick people out. Um, but I've said to players, I'm sure that'll come again, um, where we, where we can create more real um, clear cut opportunities. Well, you're going to use the programme as they call it a little bit as you get in the business end of the season the squeaky bum time but you're fifth in the table you're in the playoffs it's exciting it's really exciting really really exciting I hope the players are excited for it the fans are excited um, brilliant um, the position the players have, have found themselves in um, yes we would have liked some more results positive results um, than the ones just gone uh, but we're still in a fantastic position aren't we um, and let's put a run together um, and, and see where that takes us over the next seven games because I'm sure the teams above us are, uh, are going to have a blip sort of like we've had in recent weeks um, so there's plenty of twists and turns to go and, and we're looking forward to it You might have preempted the next question there because throughout the season even though you, you've kept it in-house you've set players and teams targets Throughout the throughout the year, as you come down now to the the real nitty gritty, have, have you done that again? No, like I say, a couple of weeks ago, uh, ten days ago, we just had a a, a meeting uh, after the MK uh, game and just just showed the players how well we've done um, and how well they've done, um, and we just broke it down into a little season. And we I don't pinpoint you pick a point up here, you do this, you, you just take the game on the merit and, and treat it as if it's your last game. Um, every match so there's no real target the target is make sure we're performing how we want to perform um, again say messages uh, type of thing and I think then performances will, uh, are due to turn around pretty soon in terms of goals It's a massive weekend there's no doubt about it but it's a great weekend for you where you are positioned in the table and if you can come out of it I know it's one game at a time and you're focused on it but if you can come out the other side on Monday night around about 5 o'clock with 6 points you're right in the mix for, for all the honours in League Two. Yeah, it'd be nice just to fast forward to Monday night, wouldn't it, and have the six yeah, points. Easy. Yeah, no, no, like I say, Graham, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bore people to death. It's what's going to happen um, tomorrow. And um, that's, the, that's the most important thing, is we really focus and put our full thoughts into Gillingham um, because they're, they're trying to catch everybody, aren't they? 
Um, they got a good win at the weekend, a, a really good win for them, which put them straight back in the picture. Um, so we've got to focus on this. And, and like I say, there's no mention of Forest Green with the players and what might be after two games. It, it's it's fully focused on on what's going to come tomorrow. The new manager, since you just, since you played the first time around up at the Morn Flake, what have you gleaned from how, how he's playing? Yeah, he plays a really good brand of football. Um, he's come in and, and turned it round in terms of how, how they look and how they play. Um, yes, they've got the big fellas up front, which they can they can go to if they need to. But um, the stats suggest you know their all round play has improved in terms of possession based, more possession based, which is after. Um, and you can see that high energy team. Um, good rotation throughout. Um, so uh, from his perspective, I'm sure he's pleased in terms of um, what his team now looks like, uh, what, what he wants from his team. Um, so that they're a real threat. Just a word on, it, on, the, on the treatment room. Chris Long got 45 minutes on Monday. I think I understand that was, he was keen to do that. And again, I think he showed he's, he's for the cause. He wants to get involved. It's been again that frustrating time. Update on him and the other lads. Yeah, he, he was brilliant, Longy, to be fair. The, 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 the plan wasn't to obviously involve him um, in the game on Monday. I was here with my lad watching my lad Sunday. My phone wouldn't stop. And... Um, between physios, sport science, Joe and Dan and Longy, he was desperate to be on the pitch, um, just because he wanted wanted to be out there, get some minutes through his legs, and just also he missed that time on the pitch. And with it being at Cresty Road, I thought it was a good opportunity to allow him to play 45 minutes. What I did say is he stay as far away mm-hmm. from everybody on that pitch <laughs> as possible. <laughs> That's what I did say to him. Um, but no, I th- and I thought he was good with the younger players. I thought their their players give our younger players some verbals, and he, he stuck up for them. So in, in that way, it was actually pleasing to have someone with that experience on the pitch. But he's raring to go now. Like I said, we're just going to manage his, his minutes, building up for the rest of the season. Um, Courtney's moving along nicely. If you ask Courtney, I think he's ready for next week. So we'll just have to uh, maybe damper that down a little bit. But he's moving along uh, really nicely. Uh, Mattis will be somewhere near for, for Monday, which is good, um, to perhaps even start the game, what we've been saying, because he's not been out for too long, which is really good. Joel Taberner perhaps then the week after. Um, so things in that, that sense are beginning to look up.